Hi, this is Robin Wessel with you, Product Marketing Manager for the Phaser 7500. I'm here to talk to you about a really exciting new feature that we're introducing with the Phaser 7500 called Color by Words. Um, so let's talk about what, well, what does Color by Words do? Well, it makes the uh, adjusting color for novice users or non-color experts quick and easy and it doesn't require you to know a bunch of color science or how to adjust RGB or CMYK values. It allows you to take a, an original file and you don't have to have access to the original application, for, for example Photoshop or Illustrator. It can be just the, um, just the PDF or the print file in Microsoft Office, for example. And you can adjust those colors by simply describing it. So for example, if you need to make the reds redder, you simply say make reds redder or make the greens brighter. Um, and you can do that without impacting the other colors in the document. I don't know how many times you've tried to adjust something and ended up making um, one thing one way, how you liked it, but it impacted all the, the rest of the document the wrong way. Color by Words makes it really, really simple. So, hey, let's take a look at how Color by Words works. So let's take a quick tour of the Color by Words feature. First, I'm going to open up the driver. I've just done that here with the uh, Phaser 7500. And uh, I'm going to go up to the Properties button here and select the uh, Color Options. And it'll get me to the uh, Color by Words. And further, I can also go to the Color Correction that's built in. And this is, uh, like all of our Phaser products, uh, a number of different automatic uh, and uh, other color corrections. On the right, you can see the Color by Words. Now, in this first example, I'm going to take the browns. I think I want to take make those uh, medium browns, the ones that you see in the, in the bag there and the uh, copy on the left. And uh, I would like to make those um, a bit more red. And so you can see in the uh, Color by Words, I simply pull down those drop-down menus, and you can see all the different selections I have. Um, really easy to uh, select, and I now add that to the list. Now, uh, I would also like to make the whole document, with exception to the magenta, a bit more uh, punchy. So I chose all colors except, so you can do an exception, and the magenta, I see those that fusion right there on the right looks good to me already, but I like to make the rest more punchy. So I'm going to make that up considerably more. You can see all the different choices I have, and uh, I'm going to pick the bottom one. I'm going to pick zippy, uh, not something you'd normally see in a uh, uh, adjustments there. Um, but I think everybody knows what we mean by zippy. Now you can also see here I can flip um, the order in which the color corrections occur. Again, I can add as many as I would like and uh, makes color correction and adjusting the color easy and intuitive. So that's in a nutshell, color by words.